Pastas are for baby. I'm getting ready to struggle to put my shoes on. Hospital called and they want us there now. So I've been having contractions all night long. So um, I woke up around four and did my hair, tried to keep myself busy. And then I woke up again at like 6.30 and the hospital called me exactly at 6.30. And um, I just got my makeup on and put some clothes on. So we are getting ready to head to the hospital. We are going to grab something small to eat before we get there as well. They want to stay within an hour, hour and a half. Um, so we need to get ourselves ready and prepare to go. Um, I lost more of my mucus plug this morning. It was very graphic and ridiculous. Like I thought I lost it yesterday. It was like, no, I lost the entire thing this morning. And yeah. So, off to the hospital we go. I just realized that we're still matching even without your own shirt. You got black on black. You pulled black shit like whole wardrobe side. <laughs> Hater. Hey, Brit. Hey, Emmy. Hi. Uh, <laughs> why? How you know? I just... Are y'all like no, we're we're driving there now. I don't even exist. Oh, you have a contraction right now? She's like, oh. I was having contractions, like really painful ones, all night long. It was crazy. And then I got up at like 6:30, and I'm like, I'm just gonna wake up because obviously I'm not gonna sleep. And then as soon as I got up, the hospital called me. How did the story just start going? And like, I just like. Are you nervous, Brent? Are you nervous, Brent? Back to me. Hi, mom. How you doing? How you doing, mom? I said Brent. I said Janine. You said Brent. Emmy, what's going on? Blah 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 blah. I said I was talking. I said I was talking to her for another Brent. Are you? Are you a nervous? I don't believe this. You hear what I hear? <laughs> no, I'm. I am very hungry though. Yeah, we're. We're gonna try and get something like some fast food somewhere on our way there. You what? I think it's gonna go fast. Yeah, I think it is too. Brent was like, "Do you think I'll, I could just shave once I get to the hospital?" I was like, "I don't think we're gonna have time." Oh, because you worry about shaving? All right. Okay. All right. Look. So I shaved last night. Never buy. Wait, 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 wait. Is Emmy supposed to shave or you, Brent? I'm so worried. Why? That we're not gonna find a place to eat. Oh, oh no, we're gonna find a place to eat. Here, we gotta pull over in a. Like if, if I remember this correctly, there's nothing until we're like there, like smack dab there. And we'll just like look really quickly, like what's the closest right there. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's really, it's crazy. When you scared me waking me up, like, oh, we gotta go right now. Like, whoa, I did not scare you. So long. I did not scare you. Because like, you, you wanted to uh, end my life and eat me. Well, I want to do one or the other, but it just so happened that I could do both, so I was like, uh... Careful. Careful. I literally, like, was rubbing your back, like... Babe, the hospital just called me. If you were rubbing my back and that woke me up, then you need to put on some lotion, because that was scratching me up. Whatever. Jesus. Whatever. My hands are moisturized. Thank you. Jesus. Careful. Jesus de Santa Maria! Oh! Lotion. <laughs> That's all I <laughs> Alright, it's getting real muffin. <laughs> 
seems like deja vu with me. Deja vu? You've been here before? No, you just recorded it. Oh. Oh, because I wasn't recording in the beginning. But look at our hospital room. This is where the baby's gonna be born. I don't know, I always thought it was a different room. Like, I always figured the kids like the operating room or something. What? That's just for C-sections. He's... Don't be speaking crazy stuff into existence. I'll be good, babe. Alright. I'll just drink it so I don't have to go bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and look, babe. That's where the baby's gonna come out. Right there. Where that little pat, pee pee pad is. In that area. My legs are gonna be open. All settled in. That's where the baby's gonna lay. That's crazy. It's happening. So the doctor broke my water at like a little 10.50ish and started me on Pitocin. I'm still having lots of contractions that are painful. Just waiting for them to get closer and stronger and see how long I can go without an epidural. So far, they're pretty painful. Are you in pain, babe? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's in labor, too. <laughs> but other than that, no change in dilation. Everything is pretty much the same for now. So let's see how long it takes for the baby to arrive. It's. 11.20 now, so, you're gonna hold on, wait, you can't hold on to your, your bed. What? You were, you were guessing that the baby will come at 12.26. If that happens, that means I can't get an epidural if I want one. Right, we're gonna have to re, do a reset on our beds around the time the baby arrives. Reset. Yeah, we're gonna reset our beds. But I'm gonna try and rest. What time is 11.20? Yeah, it's 11.20. My hands are swollen. And okay. My hands are like all swollen. They're like, killing me. All right. I think I'm hungry. <laughs> I guess for now, I'll just eat my ice chippies. Pretend they taste like barbecue. <laughs> and the devil is leaking into me as we speak. <laughs> Dark, it's blonde though, do you mind? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> 